Hey everybody, Geo here. Welcome back to We Can Geek Them, and today we're going to be talking about, quite possibly, the strangest manga release of 2020, Hard Boiled Cop and Dolphin. Welcome back to the channel, everybody, and yeah, Hard Boiled Cop and Dolphin. How the hell do I even begin to describe the insanity that goes on in this series? It's a new manga, debuted it over the summer, and I totally forgot to review it uh, or do a manga first impressions video. I think 10 chapters are already out, and there's a lot to cover, but I'm going to keep it spoiler free like I do on my channel and tell you that this is a story about a character called Boyle. Samejima, who is this hard-edged uh, 90s action trope of a cop living, I think it's either in Shinjuku or Tokyo or a, another big city in Japan. And he's a little bit too edgy for the police force. They, like, he'll uh, shoot and kick and punch bad guys first and then ask questions. That's not necessarily what the police force is looking for, so they transfer him to the Ogasawara Islands, which are, uh, I think, the southernmost islands in the chain of islands in Japan. So Boyle arrives in the island uh, where he's stationed at and is greeted by another character called Umi Nanase. She's a good spirited cop, but she's mostly played for laughs because she's involved in a lot of fan servicey moments, which may or may not be to your liking. I didn't really mind or care that much, but it, it is what it is. As soon as Boyle arrives, she is informing him of what is happening in that island, and the main focus of their investigation for that police force happens to be Chaco. Chaco is this young girl, I believe she's 10 years old or less. Uh, she's probably younger than that. I'm, I'm gonna say between six and 10 years old. Uh, Chaco was once part of a crazy religious sect that uh, was involved in wanting to create hysteria with the rising sea levels and how the ocean was going to take over the land and uh, it gained notoriety when uh, media outlets looked at Chaco talking to fish and marine life. She has that ability and communicating with them and suddenly this cult became larger than life. However, when it was raided by the cops, uh, the everybody bailed and the leader and 20-something members were able to escape, uh, including Chaco's mother, who we don't know about yet as of this video. But again, this is a first impressions, just my overall, my overall takes on the manga. So eventually she escapes, Chaco escapes, with the help of a dolphin. And that dolphin turned out to be an anthropomorphic dolphin who's now a police cop. I don't get it either, to be honest with you, but that is the story. And we follow Orpheus, the talking sweetheart, but also badass cop who's also a freaking dolphin. I don't know. Through this character, we find out that Chaco has special abilities. She is able to influence things around her uh, with the power of revelations, as it is described in the manga. And she can will things into being by thinking of it. But she's a little girl. She doesn't really know what she's doing. And that's part of the fun. For example, she looks at a starfish on the beach and says, oh, this is a star punk. So the next panel, you see a buffed up dude with a starfish for a head. It's that type of crazy shenanigans that goes on in this series. We also see marine life that can replicate humans and uh, some are declared terrorists. There's this octopus that turns into a man and he throws tentacle bombs. It's all over the place. I love zany, wacky stories like this. This manga, of course, is written by the same author that did Beelzebub and Shonen Jump, uh, Ryuhei Tamura. And for the most part, the art in this uh, hardboiled cop 
and Dolphin manga is very nice and clean. It's a very bright looking series, which reflects the setting that they're on. When there is action in the series, of uh, aside from the wacky humor and the body horror elements with the uh, fish men turning into <laughs> weird hybrids, there's actually some really nice action scenes and some really nice visuals. I love the character designs, they're really great. And eventually in the series, as you keep progressing, uh, we learn that there are actual uh, sea clans and mafia and gangs and all that stuff underwater. According to Orpheus, you know, humans don't have dominion of all that stuff. And there's more than meets the eye. And several of these characters are going to pose problems for our main heroes. Obviously, the wacky factor of having anthropomorphic animals makes this an unusual series. But once you get past that, you're going to have an interesting time to see the dynamic of a character trying to loosen up and uh, not be so edgy and, and hard-boiled, as the title implies. Uh, Boyle is uh, not the most easy character to get along with because he has a very brash and raw style to the way he does his uh, uh, cop stuff, if you will. Orpheus, on the other hand, is this gentle giant, if you will, but if stuff goes down, like I mentioned earlier, he will do everything imaginable to keep Chaco safe, who he views as sort of her own daughter, I guess. That dynamic between the three characters and Chaco just being hilarious and doing whatever the heck she wants to the annoyance of Boyle and Orpheus trying to learn about this new uh, buddy cop that he now has is the main driving force as well as the exploration of the sea creatures and all the action stuff that happens because of it so overall i i love stuff like this the the weird bizarre action humor type stories have always intrigued me i love fantastical tales and when you can mishmash all of that into something like this i'm all up for it so yeah wacky premise aside hard-boiled cop and dolphin I'm in. I really enjoy it. If you read this manga, let me know in the comment section down below. Guys, as always, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being a part of A Week in Geekdom. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you know when new videos pop up. It'll mean a ton. And if you want to follow me on social media, merch link, and all that stuff, down below are all the links to that. So thank you once again. I've got to go. I will catch all of you. On our next video.